everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at what do they want to say to you? So this is going to be a reading where we're going to cut through and see, you know, what do they actually want to say? So this is great for, you know, really any connection where you feel like you're not really getting like the full truth. But the other purpose of this connect of this reading is to just help hopefully shed some clarity on a circumstance or situation where you don't feel like you have that clarity. Now, I am going to issue a trigger warning here just because I, I already feel like there could be some stuff that pops up. So please don't watch this if you're feeling oversensitive, nervous, scared, or just like there's too, too many emotions. Okay. Um, Use your discernment always when consuming content, both online and offline, okay? Like, it's really important. Your mental space is the most important space. What else do I have to say? I think that that's all. We do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one, we have the pyrite. Pile number two, we have the honey calcite. Pile number three, we have the amethyst. If you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. You can watch one pile, multiple piles. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, everybody who chose pile number one. If you chose the pyrite, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just going to go ahead here and connect with your energy. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one, who chose the pyrite crystal? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile one so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep pile one safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, right away I'm feeling like this person has a lot of tender feelings for you. I'm getting a lot of softness, especially around the heart. I keep also hearing the phrase, you know, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of you. So, you know, for some of you, this person feels very proud of something you've accomplished. I feel like this person sometimes can be a little bit all over the place though, because what I am hearing is Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Hyde. So I feel this person can be kind of, you know, inconsistent. Um, and that could be something as well that is stressing you out. This person is doing like an audit of their life. It's not just their finances. I feel like they're trying to figure out a lot of different things right now and they don't know what to do. Okay, let's tap in here. What would this person say? If they were being honest, if they could talk, what would they say? We have the world in reverse. I'm not over you yet, is what I think this person would say. This person would also say that they're feeling rather stuck. They feel like things have just been difficult for them. They're having a hard time seeing how they're going to get from point A to point B. They're really tired of the way that their life has kind of unfolded. And this person doesn't feel like they have much energy overall to follow through on other things. They feel very depleted, low, tired. We have the Ace of Cups also in reverse. And I promise you, you guys, this deck is not in reverse. I just, I just checked it. This person wants to come back here and make you some sort of a offer, but they're feeling stuck, especially with that Ace of Cups in reverse. I think for some of you, this person may also be letting past influences bug them. So such as like past people they haven't been able to get over. There's a lot of baggage that they have. And I feel like that's leading to them being a little bit cold or empty, sad. I think this person has a block around their heart chakra. They could also be going through, you know, a loss of faith, a loss of feeling like things are going to work, work out for them. It's really stressing them out here. They feel very insecure. 
Crown prints. I'm filming this in September. For many of you, I do think you're going to hear or connect to this person by the end of the year, specifically Sagittarius and Capricorn season. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person, they want you to know what they would say to you is like they do have some healing that they still need to do. And they're concerned that if they don't do their healing, the connection between the two of you won't be smooth because they can't really show you what they're actually feeling. They can't show you what's actually going on in their heart and in their mind because there's just too much junk around them, too much like mental clutter. This person is really hoping that you'll allow them some space to figure this out. They have a lot of inner healing to do and that is something that they would tell you. They would say something like, you know, I have a lot of work that I need to do on myself first before I'm able to be in a healthy connection with you. What else here? What would this person say? We have the X, unfaithful, love triangle, X in question. For some of you, this person would say, I'm not over my ex yet. You know, I feel like that's something I want you to know because it is affecting our connection. This person would say that I'm still attached or I feel attached to somebody from the past that I know I shouldn't be attached to, but I can't help it. I'm really, it's hard for me to break away from this person. I feel overwhelmed. This person would also say that they have thought about telling you like more truth than what they're actually telling you but they stop themselves every time you also have police some of you this person's ex could have put them in a very toxic situation for instance they have like a lot of they could have like trauma bonding with their ex there could be this person could also be going through some legal difficulties for some of you here you could definitely see that either way they just don't feel good about themselves they feel like they have too much going on that they need to take care of and it's really scary for them to feel detached and to feel like maybe there's going to be some sort of pushback here we have instability just almost fell out of the deck here you can't depend on them one minute they're into you and the next minute they're quiet bored and ghosting you they will make your head spin and not in a good way yeah i feel like another thing this person would say is that they're really working on their own stability and they feel like it's important that they work on themselves first before they are able to commit to you. This person cannot commit to you until they have done their own inner work and I feel like that is something that they would say. They don't want to be in a connection if they're still in the same energy. They don't think that that's fair. We have intentions. Their aim and overall goal when it comes to this connection, pay attention. Their actions confuse you, but they have cle they clearly have a goal in mind, energy work indicated. I will say for many of you, I feel like this person is, is planning on trying to reconnect with you at some point here. They really are, like that is their intention. But I also feel like they are just forming these kind of ideas in their head and they're not really sure how to like actually go through and do what they need to do here. So it's more like they're overthinking, they're in their head, they feel like, you know, I should do this, I should do that, but it's not actually the case. I feel like this person is really lacking the clarity, but they are planning to re-enter your life. We also have this, have I lost everything? Yeah, this person is going through some sort of a crisis of faith. Really, I'll just say a crisis in general because I feel like they're in a lot of, they could be in a lot of like legal troubles, just troubles in general. They're really tired of, you know, having this same sort of repetitive vibration. Like they, they want to be free as well. They, they're not happy with their life and with, you know, kind of where they're at energetically. What else here? What would this person say? Power of self would change your consciousness. This person would say they know that you and them are soulmates. Like, look at the two swans. Look at the two people. But they really feel like they have to figure out their own stuff first. It's not fair for them to come into a connection with you when they're not even really 
sure of like who they are or they feel like they've messed up so much that they don't feel like it's entirely right of them to come into your life if they're not able to be consistent. I do think this person has a lot of healing to do. I do feel like they have a lot of work to do on themselves and they're a little bit like scared. Scared of the work, scared of the effort. They know that they have to do it. They know they have to like make the changes, but they are feeling overwhelmed by just the sheer gravity of what they have to do here. What else here? What would this person say if they could? Mountain, major challenges to overcome. This person would say that they know it's going to be a difficult journey to, you know, reconnect with you in the way that they want, but they are willing and desiring to put in the effort. This person would say that they just have a lot of things that they first need to take care of. And they have to work on that first. It's really important. So yes, that's what's coming through. I hope you're well. I don't know, you guys. I feel like this person just has, they're gonna need time to sort through the mountain of shit that they are currently wading through. And I think that that's really important for the two of you to, to know here. The two of you, that's weird, why did I say that? Um, but yeah, I just feel like there's just too much that has to be cleared out first. But eventually I feel like, um, this person is intending on coming back in. Okay. Pile two, how are you? If you chose the honey calcite, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Such a pleasure to connect with you. Just going to go ahead here and dive right in so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy? Of pile number two, who chose the honey calcite? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pal 2 so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pal 2 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing the phrase mixed bag. So something about this connection between you and this person could feel like a bit of a mixed bag. There's a lot of like um, up and down with this person's energy. This person could also be mixed. You guys could be mixed. This person is going through some sort of like an identity crisis. I feel like they're, they're trying to look at like, who am I? I'm feeling like all of these kinds of, you know, intense questions are being asked by this person. They're really struggling to see you know, like what, what they need to do, how they need to change. This person is also admitting that they haven't really put in a lot of effort. In fact, I'm hearing that phrase bare minimum. Um, so yeah, this person could be aware that they've been kind of slacking off when it comes to the connection with you. They have a lot of guilt over this. They have a lot of disappointment as well over this. They know that they have to change or kind of step up here as well. Okay, let's tap in. Pile two, please. What would this person say? Five of pentacles. Yeah. They would say, I'm broke. I'm energetically depleted. I don't have anything to give you. I feel like a really bad person. I'm incredibly tired. I just don't have the things that I need in my life. I, I'm feeling empty. I'm feeling sad. There's not a lot that I have. My cup is not full right now. I don't have much energy or effort to give to you. We have the five of wands in reverse. If you were scared that there's competition here too, this person would say that there is no competition. The biggest problem here is that they just don't feel good about themselves. 
they might also be struggling financially. I feel like this person has just been really stuck in their head. And they're letting that affect this connection. And that's one thing they want to tell you. You know, I'm sorry that I've been acting a little strange, but I'm just really, really, really unhappy with my life, with the way that things are kind of unfolding. We have the Six of Swords, and we also have the Six of Wands. This person would say as soon as they feel better about their life and kind of where they are, they do intend to reach out to you and to come your way. Um, we have two fives and two sixes, so between five to six weeks could be a good um, time frame from whenever you're watching this. I also feel like this person really feels like I have to get my shit together first. Like I cannot enter Pile Two's life if I'm not fully ready to sort of be better. This person does not want to be lazy anymore. They don't want to be inconsistent. They're really tired of themselves. They're tired of like their own energy here. Pile number two, please. What would their person say? We have high value, the empress, beautiful, sexy, abundant, and confident. This person would say that they feel like you're a lot better than them, like you have a lot more to offer, and they're incredibly stressed. They're incredibly stressed that you guys are not going to be able to connect. They're incredibly stressed that the two of you are not going to be able to, that you're not going to want to be around them because you don't, they're not as high value as, as you know, they perceive you to be. So this person definitely is placing you on a pedestal. What else here? We have avoidance in hiding, feeling guilty, no communication. Yeah, this person would say if they have been acting a little bit weird, it's mostly because they just feel sad. It's not because they're, they wanna be like a bad person or hurt you, hurt your feelings. They just feel really, really sad. Hold on, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I feel like this person could literally be making themselves sick over, you know, how how much they're avoiding you. Like it's really bugging them as well. Pile number two, please, what would they say? Pile two say here. We have education. Lessons are being taught in the current situation. They teach you how to love yourself and demand respect. You're learning how to set healthy boundaries. This person would say that they're fully intending on fixing a lot of these things that they need to fix. They don't want to be like this anymore. They're trying to figure out how to move forward. They're trying to work on themselves too. For some of you, this person may be going back to school or something like this. Like they really are trying. They're ready to make a change. They're ready to make, you know, a positive impact. They're just really, really tired. I feel like this person's very tired. They've been pushing so much and like nothing has been really working out for them. And it's just, there's a lot of stress around that. What else here? What would this person say? We have wounded. They're wounded and bitter due to past failed connections. Okay, the betrayal has hit them like, a, has hit them hard and it's caused their heart to become hard. Hurt people hurt people. Yeah, this person still has some work that they need to do on releasing and letting go of a past connection, I feel. And they're really trying to, to put in this effort. So one of these things that they're trying to say to you is like, I got to figure this out first before I can come into this union with you. Yeah, but I need more time. So another thing this person is saying is that they feel like they do need some more additional time here. They're not fully ready. They're getting there, but they just right now need some time. They need time. They need space to be able to figure out what they have to figure out. They really want to put in the effort. They want to be better, but they also feel like they just have a lot. It's like they, there's just a lot on their plate and that's really bugging them. They're very concerned that, you know, they're wasting their time. They really don't want to um, waste your time as well, by the way. They, they actually really value you and they feel like you deserve more than them. We have Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. This person would also say to you, hey, you know, I'm working on myself and I intend to come back here and offer you something stable. 
my intention is to grow with you. My intention is to come forward and create a stable um, a stable foundation. What else here? What would pile number two's person say to them? What would they say, please? Thank you. We have looping, cycle of life and death, honor, bless, and release the past. Yeah, I feel like this person's also holding on to some past drama. I'm not gonna lie. But they could also have like some issues here with like past debts, past like just energies that they have to clear out of the way. I feel like that's really, really important to for you to note. Like, I feel like this person is not being um, shitty to you for no reason. I feel like they have some stuff that they're working through, but they're intending on coming back better than ever. As soon as they do feel like, okay, I'm, I'm in a better space, I feel like this person is 100% planning on coming back here. They just want to feel as good as they perceive you to be. This person may also be like about to lose their home. Okay. They could have to be sending money or resources abroad or to family that doesn't live with them. They are very stressed as well. I can feel that in my body. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. I know it's not an excuse for poor behavior, but I, I do feel like a lot of stress around this person. So yes, that's what I have piled too. Interesting, very interesting reading. I think one of the other things I want to say here that this person wants me to say um, is that they love you very much. I think this person loves you so much more than you know they're, they've shown you in the past. They really do feel like you and them are so aligned and they just want to, they want me to tell you that. Okay. Hi, pal three, how are you? If you chose the amethyst crystal, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. Such a pleasure to connect with you. Let me just go ahead here and dive right into this person's energy. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number two who chose the amethyst crystal? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile, pile two. Interesting. You, some of you could need to watch pile two. Let me rephrase this. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number three who chose the amethyst crystal? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep them safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We really do love and appreciate you so much. We wanted to say a big thank you for everything that you do for PAL3. And we also ask that you continue to keep PAL3 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this person... They really want to hold you. They want to snuggle. They want to be close physically. This person is really feeling a big um, emptiness in their heart. One of the things that they want more than anything is to just be physically close to you. This person may also be thinking about you in an intimate or sexual way. I feel a lot of focus on um, some sort of a position <laughs> is what they want to say. So if you have been intimate with them, they definitely think about this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Okay, so it's something to keep keep in mind there. Um, I also feel like this person is starting to communicate a lot with spirit or they're starting to get a lot of downloads from their spiritual team around this connection. And there's they want to listen. They're trying to be better at like actually listening to what their spiritual team is saying. So they're working on it. They're working on, you know, being better at actually following through. Okay, pile number three, please, spirit. What would their person say to them if they could be honest? Four of Wands. Page of Wands. Page of Swords. Eight of Wands. Dang, a lot of Wands here. Well, this person definitely wants forward movement is one of the things that they would say right away. Not only do they want forward movement, but I feel like they're really looking at you as somebody that they 
want to grow with, they want to connect with, they feel like the two of you have so much shared energy here that they are feeling very um, driven towards building something in this connection. For many of you, this person actually thinks quite a lot about what it would be like to marry you or take the connection to the next level, live with you, etc. They really like to think about those things. It makes them feel really happy to consider what it would look like for you and them to be living together in the same space, etc. I think this person also feels like they're not as mature as you. And so they would say, you know, I feel like sometimes you deserve better than me because I'm not as mature. I feel like a bit of a loser. I'm not as good as you. You deserve better, etc. I can feel this person coming through here. I feel like there's someone as well who sees you as a, a wonderful and, you know, valuable person. And I think this person still sometimes feels like their life is just not put back together in the way that they feel it should be. So they're struggling a little bit. What else here, Spirit? Pile number three. What would this person say? If they could say anything, please, what would they say? You check yourself. We have planning. Text, phone call, meeting up. Yeah, I feel like this person would say that they often do think a lot about the connection with you and what it would be like to, to marry you. They are planning on taking some more definitive action here. Um, and I feel like that's something I want you to know. This person, they feel like they just have a lot of stuff that they are still working on. They're worried uh, that you can find somebody better, honestly. Um, this is something that really haunts this person. This person feels very excited about the future of the connection with you. I think they think a lot about it. <clears throat> I think they think a lot about what it would be like to be with you. This person and you, they are excited. They're excited to move forward and I feel like they know that they've been a little bit kind of private about things but they they want to talk to you. We have hidden feelings. Keeping feel feelings under the surface and not sharing them. They're choosing to hide their true feelings from you at this time. Not feeling comfortable with confessing. Yeah I feel like this person has a lot more feelings for you than what they're actually saying. They tend to keep this to themselves they're trying their best to work on being able to communicate with you, but it is definitely a bit of a challenge for them. They tend to get really in their head and scared. But they have more feelings and I do think they wanna to talk to you about this. We have adjustments. Learning that all people evolve and grow, getting to know someone all over again, not limiting others. They're realizing that you're not the same person as before. Yeah, this person has maybe seen you go through some changes here. And I feel one of the things that they are saying to me is like, they really are very inspired by you. I will say this person might have some like really toxic friends or people around them. I'm just feeling like they have some shitty influences that is, you know, definitely important to note. person is realizing that they have to take some steps away from some of the people that they have in their life because it's just not healthy. Yeah, we have light. This person sees you as a light worker. They see you as somebody that's very positive. You've just brought so much joy into their life and they feel very, very um, grateful for you. I think that this person wants to bring more light into your life as well. They want to be able to give to you. They want to be able to connect with you. A 
Look at this. We have a cat with a two-faced friend. I told you, I feel like this person might be listening to other people over their own heart when it comes to this connection. And they're starting to realize how this is just messing them up even more. This person understands that they have to take some steps to actually be honest and communicate from an honest and authentic place. And they also might need to change and release some of these people around them because I do feel like this person has influences that are holding them back. And they're starting to realize that. What would this person say, please, if they could say anything? What would this person say, please? You're breaking down your constructs, embrace new opportunities. I feel like this person would say that they are in fact ready to move the connection forward with you. They are going to put in the efforts. They want to make the changes and they are going to be able to make the changes. That's what this person would say. They're not going anywhere here. This person wants to grow something with you and that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to put in the effort. They're going to put in the energy. They're ready and they are desiring um, an opportunity here to, to make a positive change. So that's what this person would say. This person feels very much like they love you but i feel like they still have some work to do on maturity um but they are planning they're planning something here they want to move this connection forward so don't doubt that for even a second because i feel like this person is ready they're wanting and they are ready to move the connection forward so yeah that's what i have Sending you a big hug, lots of love. Have a great day. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.